Well, the snow and even some ice as people stuck in their homes in parts of Maine this morning. So we're going to take you live to Union, Maine. Richard Peak joins us live now via Skype. And Mr. Peak, thanks for joining us. Good Sunday morning to you in the cold and the ice and snow. You are an amateur photographer, and we're going to look at your video in just a, in a second. But we want to hear from you to describe what it's like right now in Union, Maine. I tell you, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as I was expecting, considering that we've had two feet of snow so far this week. When I got up this morning, I was really expecting to be uh, frozen in hard. And although ice covers everything and it's very difficult to walk outside, it's not frozen so hard that you can't break it off. For example, if you go to get in your car, you don't have to fight to get the car a door open. Although my little dog was just a little dachshund was sliding all over the place and bless his little heart, it looked like he could barely stand up. So it is pretty slippery. <laughs> I believe it. I'm sure that was actually a funny sight to see. Uh, where are you in Maine? Where is Union, Maine located? It's uh, central Maine. We call it mid-coast Maine. Just about halfway between Portland and Bangor and only about 15 minutes from the coast. Have you seen other people trying to venture out? Not too many. You know, the roads are, uh, there's nobody on the road this morning, so I think it's probably very slippery. Uh, I certainly haven't tried. I don't think I could get out my driveway. My driveway is pretty steep and heads right down to the river, and the last thing I want to do is drive into that. So I'm thinking I'll just stay put. Oh, for sure. Now, you said you had snow and then the ice on top of it, but you obviously still have power. Have you heard anything about power in the area? I've heard that there are quite a few people without power. I'm very fortunate. I live very close to one of the power stations, so I rarely lose power. But a lot of people up here do, and it is something we kind of get prepared for. People tend to have wood stoves and things of that nature because it happens, you know, from time to time. It's pretty regular up here. Have you lived in Maine for a long time? Oh, I've only been up here 30 years. I rolled into town in a double-wide freight liner 30 years ago uh, from the south and took one look around. I said, this is where I want to be, and I've been here ever since. You moved from the warm south to cold Maine. Uh, tell me what's your secret. How do you deal with the snow or what you, what you love about the snow? I love it's not hot. I grew up in Georgia where it's very hot, and my poor kids are down there suffering in the heat right now, bless their little hearts, and I am so glad to be here in the cool. Oh, so fun. Uh, so, so tell me a little more about you know, what it, you've been through in these snowstorms. You've been through these ice storms before. How long do you think it will take to get out of something like this? Uh, I could probably do pretty well because I'm pretty well prepared. I have studied snow tires on the car. If I could get down the driveway without running in the river once I get on the road, they're really good about taking care of things up here, although it does get ahead of people sometimes. Plus, with the power being out, you know, that's all about trees falling on the power lines, and sometimes it takes a few days to clear that up. But I noticed they've been out working on it a lot this year, so I think there's a good chance they might kind of be ahead of it this time. Richard, do you think this snow and ice storm will affect your holiday plans? Uh, yeah, it already is. We didn't go to church this morning because of it. And uh, depending on what happens during the week, we wanted to get in some cross-country skiing on Christmas morning. And not sure if the ice is going to make that possible or not. We just kind of have to wait and see. Yeah, ice, ice skates might be a better deal. Richard Peake yeah, from Union, Maine, thank you so much for joining us. And good luck with your snow and ice storm there. What's going to happen in the days to come? Well, we've got the cold hanging on up there in Maine, but elsewhere, temperatures will go from warm to cold, Reynolds. Yeah, and we'll talk about that. Tell you the truth, though, I kind of.